So something's been bothering me lately. Um, I thought it was a good idea to get this off my chest in the hope that it might, I don't know, resonate with you or, or maybe help somebody out. But gamers are still seen as frivolous. Computer games are still seen by a large portion of the world at best as a waste of time and at worst as dangerous, you know, addictive. I've read articles recently that have stated that, you know, they lead children to violence and there is no value in computer games. Now, that, it bothers me a little bit simply because gaming has always been quite a big part of my life and has saved me on a number of occasions from pretty bad situations that I've been through. What started me thinking about this is I've recently kind of come out on my my own personal Facebook account as I know attempting to be a YouTuber. You know, they, I'm trying to make this my my job now, having been made unemployed recently. And um, you know, most people were were fantastic about it. You know, I've had some pats on the back about people say, you know, you know, good for you, well done, congratulations, etc. But there's some some people that have scoffed at it and it's not come from a place of they're looking out for my best interest it's more that they think I'm crazy you know you know why would you do that you're a grown man why do you even play computer games you know you, you've got a you've got a son you're supposed to be a grown up what are you doing and it's funny it 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 kind of <clears throat> even though it came across uh, and it was intended probably to harm or to belittle, which I'm sure you can you can relate to if you're watching this. There are some things that I wish non-gamers understood about computer games. It's not just frivolous or pointless or childish. You know what, sometimes it is. Sometimes it is just childish, but where's the harm? So I wanted to talk about a couple of reasons and a couple of examples where computer games have played a major part in my life. And it's only really now that I reflect on it that I've realized this. And I thought perhaps, I know, maybe you can relate to it and hopefully it'll resonate with you. So, okay, the the first one, and this is going to get a little dark, so bear with me a little bit. Um, the first one that springs to mind is actually when my dad passed away. Um, it was 2007, so I would have been 26 at the time. Being an only child, you know, and my mum being in no position to deal with the reality of what had happened at the time. It all, all kind of fell on me. Now, I mean, that's okay. You know, you, you've got to deal with these things. You've got to be realistic, haven't you? But at the time, I didn't know, didn't know what to do. And none of my friends could relate. No one had been through that situation. I didn't have anyone to turn to. Funnily enough, the only person I would turn to in that scenario would be would have been my dad. You know, so asking, what the hell do I do here? You know, how, how do I how do I deal with this? You know, all the funeral arrangements and the admin and the, working out where his pension was at so that my mum didn't have to move out of the house and you know all that kind of the crazy stuff that just lands on you and you've got no one to do it for you. Now. At the time, I had a friend living with me. Uh, I'd given him a place to stay because uh, he was going through a bit of a rough patch and, you know, made sure he had a roof over his head and, and you know, some food to eat. Uh, and he, he always says to me, you know, you, <laughs> he said it a number of times, you, you know, you saved my life. You, but I don't think he realises that at that time, in those circumstances, he saved mine as well. Um, <clears throat> so the game in question is actually 
a frivolous game. It's not a deep and meaningful. It's not something you're going to yeah, think, oh, wow, that's the game of the century or any of that. It's not got a massive story behind it. It, it was Fight Night. Fight Night round three had come out. And me and, me and this friend would stay up till, you know, silly o'clock playing the game. And we'd make our best efforts to knock each other's head off. And <laughs> it was brilliant. It was fantastic. But it was just what I needed at that time. See, the problem is I was in a situation where I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to deal with everything that had just been put on the table in front of me. And there was no one else to talk to about it. But I didn't want to talk about it. I couldn't sleep. I didn't want to eat. It, it, it was it was insane. It was a very, very strange part of my life. But having that game there at that time and having that friend who didn't want to grill me about how I was feeling. He didn't want to pressure me about what I was going to do or how I was going to handle it. All he wanted to do was just chill out, just play some games, have some fun. Be mindless for a little while, just switch off. And it was perfect. It was perfect. It was exactly what I needed. And it got me through. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it got me through that time. And it gave me that escape and that release. Now, obviously, all those responsibilities were still there and I had to deal with them. I had no choice. But being able to kind of take that time and step away just for a little while, it was it was awesome. So the second example is uh, it's God of War on PS4. A fantastic game, but it, it means more to me than just the game. So I'd quite recently, I say relatively recently, become a father. Um, at the time the game released, I was living on my own and my little one would stay with me for half the time. Now, I'd never lived on my own before. It was, it was weird. It was a very weird time. Um, so when I was left to my own devices and my son would be in bed, you know, obviously he was only three or four at the time and he would, he would be in bed and sleep by seven o'clock at night. And I, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I'd be kind of lost in a way. I'd be kind of wandering around the flat thinking, well, you know, what the hell do I do now? You know, and I'd put on a film and, you know, 20 minutes and I'd be bored. I'd just switch it off. I tried to read a book, but I couldn't really focus. I, I just felt really weird and out of sync with with the world. I, I didn't know what to do. Now, what I would normally do if I was left on my own, I'd go out, you know, you go out, have a few drinks with mates. But, you know, that wasn't an option. A small child in bed. What do you do? So God of War came out and it, it really spoke to me. Um, the story of Kratos uh, and Atreus, you know, the, this this monster of a man, you know, fighting demons and killing dragons. And, and again, to a non-gamer, that's all you see. You know, you, you, you see... A man running around with an axe and chopping people's heads off, which is which is great, but the story really spoke to me. You know, the the story of this this you know, this godly figure who was suddenly placed in a situation where he had no idea how to handle it. You know, he didn't know how to relate to his son, but he had no choice. You know, this 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 boy is now his problem, so to speak, to deal with. And he had nowhere to turn, and he had no choices, and all he had to find a way to deal with the situation. And seeing him wrestle with that, seeing seeing him wrestle with his own flaws and his own insecurities, and seeing him kind of resent the similarities in his son that he didn't like about himself, all of that really kind of spoke to me at that time, and it it it, it kind of gave me a, a weird focus where. Yes, I was stepping away from the problems in my own life, but also I was kind of addressing them at the same time. It was very strange and surreal, but it helped, and it came at just the right moment. And I'm really hoping you guys can kind of relate to, maybe not that specifically, but as surely for, for dedicated gamers, I, I would expect that at some point in your life there has been a game that has spoken to you and resonated with you and been there just at the right moment to kind of, I know it, 
educate you, make you reflect, or take you away. Now, what, what I wanted to say, that the, the point of this video, I guess, other than just kind of getting this stuff off my chest is, don't let people tell you that gaming is wrong. You know, yes, deal with your real life, go to school, speak to your partner, go to work, you know, address the real stuff that needs to be addressed in your life, of course. But if you need to take some time out, if you need to step back and just, you know, zone into something else, even if it's just for an escape, don't let people tell you that's wrong or frivolous or pointless. You know, I, I know people that watch utter trash on TV and I can't relate to it at all, but I won't tell them it's wrong because that's their escape. That's their time. There is an element in society that will tell you that gaming is is bad for you and pointless and stupid and silly and childish. I disagree. Um, so much so that I'm now trying to create game content. <laughs> um, and people might think I'm crazy, but that's okay. I don't really care. And I hope you don't either. I really hope this kind of speaks to some of you and, and resonates a little bit. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe it might help out. I'd love to think so. Let me know in the comments. Take care. Cheers now. Bye-bye.